Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here. Welcome back to Survivor Craft. And today, we are standing on my front lawn. Which is kind of funny, because we're not going to do anything around the house today. Which projects I talked about in the previous episode are going to be put on hold. We are going to do some peregrinating of Minecraft today, of the world. Peregrinating means to wander aimlessly. But we're going to head start on a spawn. And then we're going to walk towards a object of interest, I guess you would say. But we aren't going to teleport there or anything. We're going to actually walk there and have a look around of what is going on along the way. So first we are going to teleport to spawn, but then from spawn we're not going to teleport. So let's go to teleport a room. And let's oopsie doopsie. Let's hit the buttons for spawn. It should take us right to the waterfall. Let's see. And hang tight. And there we go. There's a waterfall. So we're going to hop in here. And we need to head... To 255, which is south, right? South, no, way I'm turned around. Um, east is positive, south is positive. So we have to go east and then south. So we have to go southeast. We need to go 255 positive, which is east. 1123 positive, which is south. So we're going to go this direction. And we're going to try to figure out where this object of interest is. Wow, this has really been built up a lot since last time. I believe this is the mod housing district where the mods were able to build their houses here, which I was not a mod at the time, so I wasn't able to. No fishing from bridge. Yep. So I believe these are the mod houses. Very nice. Yep. You can see this guy in Diz. And then over here. That's Silski there, I believe, because I was there when he fell off his roof. Um, and then we got some stuff here. Oh, yeah. So if you watch Silski's videos and you can see Sky's videos, you will see the stuff in their videos too. Otherwise, we're kind of off track here. Let's run, bar, let's walk back this way. I'm trying to follow the path and see if we can find this object of interest. I'm going to try to cut as little as possible. So again, it'll be kind of a casual episode, which I really want to point out because those of you who may have found me recently, because I get like waves of subscribers and things, um, please don't use any one video as a representation of my channel. I have quite a variety. I have exploration, I have building, I have casual do-nothingness. I have super active things like the llama episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and check out the llama episode. That's what it's called. Otherwise, sometimes it's just casual Minecrafting. Always family friendly. Sometimes you don't get much done. Sometimes we get a lot done. Sometimes episodes are 15 minutes. Sometimes episodes are 40 minutes. It's always whatever happens. I I like not having a schedule and not having a format because my real life is full of schedules and formats and routines. I like my Minecraft life to have none of that stuff. So, just looking at this, I've never seen this yet. Very nice. I think this is railroad stuff. To get to the railroads, yep, there's like down and up because you just, you know, soul sand and water. Alrighty, so we, however, don't want to do that today. We still want to head east and then south. So... Which is the best way to go east and south? Do we have to go east and south? Do we have to go south and east? Um, we might just have to cut across the lawn. <laughs> we'll see here. So let's see. It's only 200 in one direction, but it's a thousand in another. So it's going to be a long walk. Most episodes will be walking, but like I said, it's to see what is along the way. Lane of Stars. Um, we still have about 400 people on the server, by the way. So a lot of these people, I don't know. Um, I know the most vocal and the most active through Discord and through the game. Like I talk about Lady Vivian a lot. I talk about Magic Shrooms a lot. I take a, talk about Lady Hunter a lot. Things like that. Or people like that. Folks like that. Pubsy Girl talk about her a lot. Um, but what is this texture? Concrete powder. Huh, okay. It's like a golf course. I assume that's the intention. Otherwise, a lot of people I don't know. So I don't know the majority, actually. Nice little treehouse there. I don't know the majority. Um, if I did not call out your name just now. I know you're watching my videos, though. I have a very, very high viewership from the server. So leave a comment. Let me know who you are. I want to know everybody. But it's just not possible. So I only know the most vocal. Looks like we have a base in the roof forest. I don't know what's going on there. Something's going on there. Looks like 
a long bridge, but we're a turtle, so we can just swim. If I can figure out how to get down, there we go. Again, have to watch swimming animation. There we go. <laughs> Otherwise, there's a swamp, which I knew of. It's to the south would be Lady Vivian's... Um, which, or to the north would be Lady Vivian's witch hut house. Witch hat house, but we're too far south for that to render in. Are we going to make it? There we go. Otherwise, oh yeah, I've been here before on an adventure. All right, let's see here. We're going south. We have, okay, so actually we went too far to the east already. So we have to just work our way due south now. Okay. It's amazing how quickly you can travel in Minecraft. Also notice, this is a big deal. I am in a roof forest alone. I never go into roof forest alone. I'm always too scared. But because I have all of you watching me, I'm getting braver. And the more of you who watch and the more of you who subscribe and let me know that you're there, the braver I get. If this were a single player world, I would not be doing this right now because I know people are around. 19 or 18 others are around. <laughs> so I'm not too scared. I also know y'all are watching, so... Alright, looks like we're getting kind of desolate here. Yet we're not. Oh, you can see the sword because I rendered that in. That's awesome. So let's see, where are we? Oh, see, we already went too far west, so... I'm not trying to do a perfect thing. I'm just trying to get through, looking for paths. I don't see any paths. So either I am somewhere where there just aren't paths. Or... There are paths nearby and I'm messing it up or there just aren't going to be any. So let's just go this way. Again, we want to go south. We got about 900 blocks south we have to go. But we'll keep going. And I'll stick with you as much as I can. Cut as little as possible. Which means we're going to have to have story time, I think. Alright, here I am in a regular forest alone. I'm not a fan of the forest because of the monsters. I knew that's going to happen. Because of the monsters that can spawn even during the daytime. Oh, I have been here before, though, for something. I can't remember what. But um, I have been here before, and we're going to have to find our way through this mess. Honestly, I was really hoping there's going to be, like, a path that went all the way to where we're going. And I missed it, or there really isn't one, and we are all on our own. And it's getting dark. I don't think I have phantoms to worry about. I think I've been sleeping. What's that thing? Anyway... Let's see here. Let's keep walking a little bit. I am going to cut a little bit of this. And I'll be right back. Well, that's cool over there. And we are being chased by a skeleton. Well, we were. Don't know where they went. Anyway, let's check this out. This looks like fun. Whoops, I missed. This looks kind of cool over here. Um, I will admit, I was expecting to see a lot more buildings and things. But we are kind of going at a diagonal. So, no one seems to have settled diagonally. Everyone went in straight carnal directions. Oh, as I say that, here's something. Not sure where I am. Let's eat from that fall, though. Oh, look. There's actually a structure right above us. As I was saying, there's nobody out here. And there's something above us. Must be some type of spawner or something. Usually that's for spawning. Because you have to have so many blocks away before things will spawn, etc., etc. That looks awesome. So where are we now? We went way too far to the west. We gotta go back east again. And we're about halfway there on the south, but that's okay. Very nice. This is very awesome. There's a turtle. And some fish. And some coral. Overlooking the birch forest. Very good. Um, I don't know who this is. At all. Whoa, is there a hole there I must fell into? Let's see, any signs or anything? Here we go. Blue bow tie. I have not... That's the first time I've seen that name. At all. If, at all. Hmm, okay. All right, nice little modest place here. Let's see, let's keep going southish or southeast-ish at this point, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Back into the woods. And looks like some deep woods here. And like I've said many times before, I do plan on doing something similar to this when I have the time in real life to literally wander the entire world over the course of a couple of hours in real life and then splice it together and mix it up into separate episodes. I know I've been talking about that for like five or six episodes now, but the only thing holding me back is the real life time. 
Um, and I'm either going to have more time than usual or less time than usual once my kid's school starts tomorrow here in Minneapolis. Otherwise, um, we're just all going to have to wait and see together here. All right, so we have something else coming up here. What is this? No signs or anything. Of course, people are not required to leave signs or anything like that. I could do an inspection and see who put these blocks down, but I'm not going to. If they don't have a sign, then I'm not going to invade them and figure out who they are. All right, where are we at here? We're almost 900 blocks south, and now we got to go south and more east. Looks like we have another swamp. Speed swimming. Whoop, I run into something <laughs> like usual. There it is, Llama Bay. Now this is what we were coming to see, by the way. This was the plan of the episode, is to see the giant llama statue. And then see what we could find along the way to the llama statue. And we found a few bases, a lot of people I don't know. But here we go, let's get a good look from the beginning. Whoa. What, there's a house over there on the hill. That's an awesome view. So now there's a bunch of signs. I guess we came from the side entrance. Let's swim over here quickly and see what these signs say. I assume they say Llama Bay. And out of the water. Llama Bay. There we go. How awesome is this? This is really fun for someone like me from Minnesota where we have... Hey, sheep. Let's want to get in the, want to get in the selfie with me. Look at me. There we go. Especially like from Minnesota where we have Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox statues up in Bemidji. Way up north there, you know, but they don't actually talk like that. Alright, so let's walk up and get a close view of this llama statue. How awesome is that? Welcome to Llama Bay. That is so cool. There's a house there. I really want to know if that house is in the hill. You got some mountains there. I don't quite think that's a tall taiga, but it's taiga hills at least. There's some house. We'll go check that out on our way back home. So yes, this was a planned episode. Was to check out this gigantic statue. And then just to see what was along the way. Instead of just teleporting places. So it wasn't too bad. It doesn't take very long to go a thousand blocks. But there we go. The giant llama, which is way bigger than it looks. <laughs> way bigger. Alright, let's see. The great the great llama statue. Built by Ephodom or Ephodome. Entr there's an entrance? There's an entrance. I didn't know this. I thought you just looked at this thing. Can we go up there? Oh my gosh. PSJ is love. PSJ is life. Oh, that's amazing. Alrighty, where is the entrance? Is it here? Must be. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, if you're afraid of heights. Oh boy. That actually, you know what? That, let's hop off here a second. This is awesome. The heights thing, I have a story to tell you. So, Lake Itasca is in Minnesota. Oh, I hope we don't get, hope we don't get phantoms. Lake Itasca is in Minnesota. Lake Itasca is where the Mississippi River starts. Wow, look at those Taiga Hills. That's amazing. Let's, let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie, which is hilarious because in real life, I absolutely despise pictures of myself. In real life, you will not find pictures of myself. Anyway, enjoy the view. So Lake Itasca is in Minnesota. That's where the Mississippi River starts. I just want to see what's over here. It's not going to work, is it? And um, obviously it's a state park. Oh, a couple people slept. It's a state park or national park or something. And there is an old fire tower you can climb up. And it's very scary. I am afraid of heights. Not as much as I used to be. I used to literally be petrified of heights three feet off the ground. Not even my own body height. But now I'm getting better about it. Um, so oh, if we go down there, we're going to get stuck, aren't we? guess we can jump in the water. So anyway, there's a fire tower. And I'm like, I'm going to bring my 18-month-old with me and a baby Bjorn. And he got... He was just crabby because it was a big, big vacation, too much for a little guy. And he was super crabby and he was getting fidgety. And even though he was secure to me, I was so scared of dropping him, I started squishing him a little bit. And um, I was not very proud of that moment. He, um, yeah, I held on to him so tight, he, he threw up. 
So <laughs> that that was my terrible parenting parenting award. However, any of you who are parents, I'm sure you can relate. But yeah, I was um he had just ate a gigantic meal and then I was holding on to him around his belly so tight he threw up his gigantic meal halfway up this fire tower. So yeah, that's my story. <laughs> I'm trying to get better about story time. That wasn't a very good first story, was it? Anyway, this is a great view. And if you hear that noise in the background, my children are home. They're waiting for their friends. All right, so yet again, I'm realizing I probably should have run around and loaded all these chunks. At least we can see the Taiga Hills where we came from. Well, this is an awesome, awesome view. Very nice. Great job. Um, we're going to we're going to jump down because we can. And we're going to go over there and check out that building, and then. It's time to depart because I have to feed my children lunch in real life. <laughs> they're, they're supposed to meet a friend in the neighborhood and she, she didn't really ditch them, but her mother came up with other plans. So I'm on lunch duty, so let's quickly run over here and check out this house. And then we'll call it an episode again. It's going to be another very casual episode, so if you are new to the channel, um, please... Check out a few more episodes, or yeah, a few more episodes, and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can see the variety of things I do here. I don't always just wander aimlessly and safely. I do scary things sometimes. I do big projects sometimes. And other times I do things like this. So let's see here. So there's some boats I don't need. Let's quickly swim over to this house. I really want to see what this is, because it's kind of like my style of building, so I'm attracted to it. And then we'll call it a day. I'll meet you over there. Oh, we can still see the llama statue. That's awesome. Yeah, as long as it's rendered in, that thing's going to be visible for a very long time. Wow, this is totally my style of building in my single-player world, which I haven't been playing because I've been having too much fun in this world. Let's hop up here see who this belongs to. I'm very curious. Let's see. Up we go. All right, here we go. Bounce, bounce. Whoops, get my timing right. There we go. All right, what is this? Bay Spice. Bay Base. Again, I don't know who this person is. Never heard of the name before, but it looks like they enjoy building. Very good building in the deep forest. I love these forest houses. We were like this at our own base, but then I decided to build it out. Otherwise, um, this is definitely my style in many ways. I really like this. This is really awesome. Two stories. Nice and big. Alrighty, well, I think that's going to do it, folks. It's a real life thing. So another short episode. Oh, you can see the llama. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you're a subscriber, thank you for continuing support. If you found back accident or another way, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment, please check out the other survivors. Their links to their videos are in the description below. And I'm not sure what we're doing next. Probably some building. Maybe some peregrinating. Maybe some caving. Maybe a group activity. Maybe I'll take a day off. I have no idea, but I'll be back soon. Check out more videos, and I'll catch you next time.